I think Mr. Khashoggi is dead. I don't think the aliens uh, 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 abducted him. I don't think he fell through a hole in the space-time continuum. I think he's dead. And I think the Saudis killed him. And I think whether uh, the King Salman or, or Prince Mohammed knew about it or not is really irrelevant. They're captains of the ship. Uh, what do we do about it? We need to condemn the conduct in the strongest possible terms. And the president and Congress need to do it together. I'm anxious to find out what happened to Mr. Khashoggi. He was residing in Virginia and hoped to become a permanent American resident. Uh, I'm very concerned that he got lured to the Saudi consulate. And if the stories are true of this assassination team that was brought in and some of the gruesome stories that are at least coming out in the media, if they're true, uh, there needs to be repercussions. If the president's not willing to fulfill his responsibility, Congress will act. And I agree, and what's one of the things that will be good, it'll be strongly bipartisan. This president has a strange affinity for authoritarian leaders all over the world. And I worry at times that he doesn't understand that the words of a president of the United States carries, in many ways, more weight outside our country's borders than inside. And his constant willingness to attack the press or compliment authoritarian leaders, I hope, has not given folks a green light uh, to take, um, in this case, if it's true, despicable actions. Uh, we can't condemn other despots for butchering their own people if we don't condemn Saudi Arabia. But that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that we have to just cut them off like a dead stump, That's like some of my colleagues want to do. That's unrealistic.